Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, two shows a day. We just so earlier with um, on Mixed Combat Radio. Check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but uh, two shows a day. We got a very good one for you today. I- I'm real excited for Manny Pacquiao and Errol Spence. Spence says after the Pacquiao fight, should he win? And he will win. And he wants to fight Terrence Crawford next. I'm going to get into that. I broke that a little bit with Matt the Hipster Hunter on MCR Radio. Um, but I wanted to spend some more time getting into the details of it. Um, because a lot of people think it's going to happen now. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Please like our brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, for all things Texas boxing. Um, please help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. Um, yeah. Uh, all proceeds for that go to autism research and recovery. But let's get into today's show. Um, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, this is the news that we've been waiting for for years. Um, it seems like Errol Spence wants this fight. He says he wants the Crawford fight, or he's going to move up to 154. Uh, so I guess Keith Thurman ain't getting that ain't, ain't getting that Spence fight that he wants. Um, That, that, that's comical. You know, Spence, if he beats Pacquiao, he'd have beaten Spence. Um, if Spence would have beaten Mikey, he'd have beaten um, Danny. He'd have beaten Porter and then beaten Pacquiao. It's a pretty good run through 147. Uh, go up to 154. The problem with going to 154 is that Charlo is his best friend, his stable mate, and he could potentially have all the belts unless Castano wins. So there's not going to be anywhere for him to go to get a belt unless Charlo goes up to 160. I don't know. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, right? Like, he's I, I can't see him fighting Charlo. I can't see that, right? They're both trained by the same guy. They're best friends. I can't see that. So what I think is going to happen is if, you know, if Spence beats Pacquiao, which I'm saying he does, um, I'm saying Spence goes to 160. I mean, Spence say, <laughs> scratch that, scratch that for the record. Um, Spence beats Pacquiao and then fights Crawford, then win, lose, or draw goes to 54. Okay. Um, what, I, I, what, what I don't know is what does Charlo do? If Charlo beats Castano, and I'm picking Castano in that fight, but it's, it's a 50-50, that's a 50, very 50-50 kind of fight. Um, should Charlo win that fight, does he stay at 154? Does he run the table at 54? Does he go to 60? Because his brother's at 60. You know, it's rough. There's, there's a lot to take in at, at in and around those weight classes. You know, moving up really puts each guy in an awkward position. But, you know, both these guys could realistically, both Charlo at 54 and Spence at 47, could realistically be undisputed at – uh, by the end of the year, you know, Spence at 47, should he beat Pacquiao? And that's kind of weird, right? Because they made him a champion in recess and then upgraded Ugas to super champ. But now they're making Pacquiao super champ too. So there's two super champs from the WBA at 47, and there's about to be two super champs at 40. Are they just going to make two super champs moving forward? The WBA is a mess, right? And it's not helping things. Um and then if Charlo beats Casano, which I'm not picking, but it's very realistically, he's like, it has a 50 type fight. Charlo's undisputed at 54. Does he stay at 54 and wait for Spence to go up and fight Spence? Because if he goes to 160, I mean, his brother's in that division. Does he want to, again, be in the same division as his brother? I don't know. Um, 
there's 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 not a lot of easy answers. Like there's a lot of questions, but there's not a lot of answers. Um, what would make the most sense is for Pacquiao is once Spence gets past Pacquiao to fight Crawford. It's the fight we've wanted. I've wanted it since 2017, believe it or not. Right? That's when I started calling with Spence when Crawford was still at 140. Um, he looked big for that division. I said he could easily go up to 47. Um, I, I originally, I thought Spence would win that fight. Then I, I thought Crawford looked dominant, and now I'm leaning towards Spence again. It's a great fight. It can happen. Okay, here's how it happens, and I'll get into how it doesn't happen. Here's how it happens. If I always say a fight happens if both guys want it or the A side really, really wants it. It seems like Spence wants the fight now. Does Crawford want it? I don't know. Or it will happen if the A-side really, really wants it. Does Crawford understand that he's not the A-side? I don't care where ESPN ranks the pound for pound. I don't care where you have him in your pound for pound list. He's not the A-side. Spence is the A-side. I said all along that probably a Spence-Crawford fight wouldn't happen until this fight happened first. Why? Because it's a better fight. This is a more lucrative fight for Spence, and it's easier to make. So why, unless Crawford really came down and really took a small share, this fight was easier to make. And that's why Pacquiao Crawford didn't have it, because this fight, Pacquiao Spence, was the easiest to make. And that's why you're getting it. Um, Crawford needs to understand, as good as he is, and Crawford is great, He's had a great career, three division world champion. He's won four, six, seven world titles. All right. He's not the A side. He's not the A side. I don't care if you pick him to win. He doesn't sell more tickets. He doesn't sell more pay per views. Spence does. So if he wants this, it's got to be on Spence's term. And if he thinks he's the A side, if he even wants a 50 50 split, he's not going to get it because he Spence has too many options. Crawford has none. Spence has done the pay per view numbers. Crawford has it. Crawford had a chance to fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter, who's worked out a fight with every other top welterweight, said he wanted to fight Crawford, that he prioritized that fight. And it didn't happen because it didn't make Porter a real offer. Now he's going to fight Jose Cito Lopez? I mean, this is not what anyone really wanted to see. This is not. These aren't great fights from Crawford. You know, Spence is fighting the names you want him to fight. Um, so if and when Spence wins, which he will, the balls again in Spence's court. If Castano wins, right, Spence could just go up to 54 and fight Castano and be undisputed at 54. If he, if he should, I'm not saying that he would or he wouldn't, right? But I mean, the ball is constantly in Spence's court. I don't care if you think Crawford's better, right? Spence is in control. And, and this fight happens when Crawford realizes Spence is in control. And that he's still going to get the biggest payday of his career against Spence. And he's just going to have to take it as a B-side. Otherwise, he can buy host Cesar Lopez. Or he can wait a year and let Virgil Ortiz beat him. But if you want, which is going to be for the same money you get to fight Spence. So, I mean, this is this is a fight for Spence, right? This is the, this is a fight for Crawford. He, he needs to take it. Uh, Pac, um, Spence seems serious about the fight. It's like he wants it. Crawford needs to step up and, and say, I'm, I'm willing to take B-side. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take the short side of the stick here to make this happen because my legacy here is in riding, is riding in neutral or or maybe reverse here. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this fight's finally going to happen? Um, if not, what does Spence and what does Crawford do later in this year? Uh, thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share in all forms of social media. Please like our brand new channel. Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Remember, 3D Boxing Quick Kits can you twice a day, every day, keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news. Um, it is June 18th from 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.